For those of you interested in getting an inexpensive bidet seat that gets the job done, today we are going to review the SantaWise bidet seat, which is our favorite inexpensive bidet seat. I've used this almost exclusively for the last two weeks so that in this review I can be as thorough and complete as possible. My name is Daniel Johnson, owner of ManyBidets.com. Join us as we usher in the new era of cleanliness. We do a ton of videos about high-end bidet toilets and high-end bidet seats. In fact, in our own home, we have the Toto NX2, which is a $20,000 toilet. However, today, we are going to be talking about the perfect bidet seat if you want to get in at a low price point. You're new to bidets and you want to get your feet <clears throat> or butt wet with a bidet for the first time, or you want to introduce a friend to it, or maybe you have a second bathroom that you don't want to spend a lot of money on, but you want a bidet in that bathroom, this is the perfect option. I used this unit myself for two weeks straight so that I could get a good feel for it to make this review as thorough as possible. And today we're gonna to talk about all of the ins and outs of what that looks like. All of these parts are going to be talked about in more detail in our install video, link in the video description, but a brief overview, a template, mounting hardware, a mounting bracket, a T to connect the water supply to the bidet and your water source at the same time, and a hose to run from the T to the bidet. And of course, the bidet itself. This bidet is a non-electric bidet, so it does not require an electrical outlet nearby to install it. It has a little knob on the side that gives you both your front and your rear wash. It also offers self-cleaning. So as I move this knob, you can hear it click. The first click is your self-cleaning. The second click is your wash. Now, because it is a non-electric, it is going to be powered by the water pressure in your home, which means that you really have a hard wash and a harder wash. There's not a really easy soft wash. You can kind of mess with it a little bit, bring it up and get eh, a somewhat soft wash, but you're not gonna have the control over the pressure that you would with an electric. Also note that because this is a non-electric, it offers a cold water wash only. It uh, does not have an option to hook it up to a hot water source in the house. It offers cold only. Uh, the Sandwise also comes in elongated only. So if you're looking for round, this might not be the best fit. But if you're looking for elongated and you're looking for something inexpensive that gets the job done, this is a fantastic option. Now, why do we recommend this non-electric bidet when there are a host of other non-electric bidets that we, could, uh, that we could promote instead? Well, unlike most of the other non-electric bidets, the nozzles are actually housed in the back of the unit. And why is that great? Well, if you take a look at practically any non-electric attachment out there, the nozzles actually sit in the toilet bowl. Yes, they retract, but they're sitting in the toilet bowl. Here's where the toilet bowl lies. These are sitting below that. It gives you additional uh, chances of germs and splatter and everything hitting the nozzles. Yeah, the spot where the water sprays out of might not get real dirty, but it's not as sanitary as it could be. Looking at specifically a non-electric seat like this, you get the nozzles stored out of sight so that you don't have to worry about whether or not they're going to get splatter on them when you're using the bathroom. The other nice thing about a non-electric seat versus an attachment is that an attachment sits between your existing toilet seat and the bowl, making the back higher, whereas this is going to sit level across the board because it takes the place of your existing toilet seat. Now there are some other non-electric toilet seats that look very, very similar to this. From what we've discovered, they are the same seat, except for the fact that they come in at different price points. We'll be doing another video where we take apart seats that we believe to be exactly the same as this seat so that we can confirm on camera that they are in fact the same seat. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see that video when it drops. Now, because of the volume at which we're buying these seats, we were able to get the price point down to $50, which is less than anyone else has sold this seat or an equivalent of this seat in the past, and brings it into the price point of 
a non-electric attachment. And so you get a better product, you get a product where the nozzles are not hanging down in the bowl like you get with an attachment, and you get it at a same or similar price. Now I use the Santa Wise bidet almost exclusively for two weeks, and keep in mind I'm used to high-end electric bidet seats. So this was a pretty different experience. For starters, the cold water when it first hits you is a little bit shocking. Now you get used to it and everyone's body handles the cold water a little bit differently, but it was a little bit of a shock for me. I also did not find it very intuitive that moving the knob forward ran the rear wash and moving the knob backwards ran the front wash. That being said, I did find after a day or two of using it that moving the knob forward for a rear wash was second nature. The other thing that caught me off guard was the fact that the first click does not run the wash, it runs the self-cleaning. So I moved the knob, I heard the click, I thought I was gonna get the wash started. I heard water running, but the wash wasn't hitting me. It wasn't until I moved it a little bit further and I got the second click that the wash started. And that threw me for a bit of a loop. So don't let that alarm you if you get one of these and, and you try it the first time you use it. On the way back, the same thing happens. You get the, the self-cleaning nozzles running water over them. So either way, you get two clicks. Now, one of the things that did surprise me a little bit is I expected because it's a non-electric seat and it's got a sleek profile that I was going to gain sitable space compared to some of the electric seats that I've tried. While I found that it did have more sitable space than say the Swatch 1400 or the Omigo seat, I didn't really feel like it had more sitable space than some of our other high-end seats like the Eco Nova or the Cascade. That being said, because of how low the back is, it is a very sleek seat and I found that it was one of the best seats that I've used in the respect of looking like a traditional toilet seat and not really looking like a bidet seat at all. All that you saw from the side was the hose coming out and this little knob, which is even a lot sleeker and classier than having an attachment that still keeps your existing toilet seat. Now keep in mind if you want higher end features like unlimited warm water, nozzle positioning, heated seat, deodorizer, dryer, etc., you want to look at an electric bidet seat. We have all sorts on our website. You can check a link in the video description to view our website. However, if you're looking for an entry level unit for $50 that is going to be better than the $50 attachments you can find elsewhere, this is a great option for your second bathroom, your first bidet, your bathroom without an electrical outlet, or a friend that you're trying to gift a bidet to. We're also going to be shooting a video very soon about how to make sure that you're getting clean with a bidet. So if you're using this one or another one and you're having issues with that, check out that video. A link will be in the video description. Thank you so much for watching today. Reach out to us if you have any questions and have a great day. Minibidays.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.